Hi, everyone. I'm Jody Schwann, uh, the owner and publisher of Business. Welcome to another edition of Talent Thursday. We've got a super exciting and interesting conversation to bring you today, courtesy of our partners over at the Sioux Falls Development Foundation. Uh, Denise Gazetta, of course, who leads talent and workforce development, has lined up an interesting interview. We're going east for this one, Denise, uh, all the way to Pittsburgh. Why don't you introduce our guest today? We are. We're going all the way east. So um, today we have Ian Nash from Hinkle that's going to be talking about a program that's really near and dear to my heart. It's something that I was involved in when I was at BASF. And I really just think a good, strong a way to build those talent pipelines, to give people the opportunity, if you are a pretty diverse uh, employer, um, of where they want to be. And so that's why I thought he would be perfect for today's, today's so, spot. Thanks for joining us, Ian. Um, you know, for our viewers, first of all, who are not that familiar with Henkel, uh, let's get the rundown as far as uh, what you do, what the company's all about. Sure, thanks, Jody. Thanks, Denise. So my name's Ian Nash. I'm the head of the PRISM Rotational Program at Henkel, which is a leadership development program. Now, you may not be familiar with the name Henkel, but we are a global manufacturer of adhesives, sealants, coatings, and consumer goods. So if you haven't heard of the name, you may have heard some of some of our brand names. In the adhesive space, we have brand names like Loctite and Bondurite. On the consumer goods side, you may know Dial Soap or Snuggle or Perso Laundry Detergent. So we've got a pretty large range of products and we have a number of manufacturing and headquarter sites across the U.S., including one in Brandon, South Dakota. That's right. So we love those regional businesses. I've actually been able to be out at Hinkle before. Um, it's a, a great operation in Brandon and um, you've got opportunities not only there, right, but company-wide. That's correct, Jody. Yeah, we've got some spaces all across the country. Um, we're in 24 states and we have about 65 different sites. So within the Brandon operation, what kind of opportunities are we talking about? So our Brandon site is a manufacturing facility. We have about 120 colleagues there right now, and they are making what we call thermal interface materials. So different coating sealants, adhesives that go on to electronic components, keep them safe from shocks and keep them, uh, you know, heat management type applications that go into a lot of really exciting end markets. At the facility, we've got a number of open jobs right now. Um, we have operator jobs, technician jobs, both of which require a high school degree or a GED. And then we have some engineering jobs as well. My program, the PRISM Rotational Program, is a really exciting um, entry level or post-university or post-college program where we bring in an engineer to the Brandon site. We allow that person to rotate through the different functions around the site, to learn about how we manufacture products, to learn about the company. We pair them up with mentors at our headquarters and really get them a lot of exposure to the company as a great way to enter the company through an exciting site in Brandon. That's such a best practice too, isn't it, Denise? It is, absolutely. And I think there's so many things. So my relationship with Hinkle goes way back when um, I was in banking and, and I just know the growth. You know, this is a global employer that has an office, large office location here in Brandon, South Dakota. And working with um, Bruce Lear is one of the, he's the general manager. Wonderful, great culture. So why is this a best practice? And why is this something that we feel like needs to be spotlighted on Talent Thursday? Employees really need you to come alongside of them and provide that learning development and any investment that you make and their professional development really translates very well to loyalty long-term. We know that. We know that one of the best things you can do is get into an internship program. If you hire an intern, you hire somebody just right out of school and they weren't an intern, the intern is more likely to stay not only that first year, but into year three and five versus that new hire. So that's exactly what's happening here with this program. They're just adding the twist of giving them some different experiences and then allowing the choice, which is wonderful. So new grads, you're out there. I mean, it's May. So, you know, if you were looking, and I know many of you are, it's been interesting to see how many college grads are graduating without a plan. You know, we hear about this robust job market, but my gosh, there are a lot of people still trying to figure this out. So Ian, I feel like this is a very good exploratory opportunity. Absolutely, Jody. So for the brand insight, we're looking for process or industrial engineers who are graduating in May or maybe have had a couple of years of work experience, but are looking for a new company or a new challenge. 
So we're really open. We're still hiring for that position. I think it's a really exciting way to learn about the manufacturing sector and kind of the high tech manufacturing sector with our electronics components and really a good foray into a large global company like Henkel starting in Brandon, South Dakota. Right. Now, manufacturing, I mean, you need to be there and you need to be on site. I understand that. But as you said, you're a global company. How have you been approaching remote work? Do you have opportunities that might be a fit for someone based in the Sioux Falls area? So we've we've taken a kind of a two-tiered approach to remote work. Obviously, our production sites, they need to be in person. And and for the most part, they are in person, have been running um, continuously with a number of safety measures in place throughout the past three years. In some of our office sites, we're switching to kind of what we call smart work. So that's kind of dependent on your department and function, but often it could be maybe three days in the office, two days off, schedules like that, flexible schedules that allow people to do their jobs effectively while still meeting coworkers, seeing colleagues and seeing the office. So in Brandon, the entire site is full-time right now in person. Um, But that being said, there will probably be opportunities to, to travel, to see other sites, do some remote work on other project teams from South Dakota. And also think long term, there's the opportunity to have your entire career in one company, (laughs) which a lot of people can't say. So they can't say that they have that opportunity. But, you know, providing that to your process and your industrial engineers and allowing them to go through those different areas. Perfect. And I know a lot of people don't maybe fully understand um, the opportunities that come with those larger companies. I mean, I'm sure that there's a generous benefits package, um, and, and you guys are certainly positioning yourselves to be competitive as well. Um, culturally, you know, how would you describe Henkel? What's it like to work there? Henkel is, is quite a large company now, as I mentioned. So we have over 8,000 employees in the U.S., but despite the size, it's a very close-knit and collaborative culture. Um, we really stress teamwork, working across diverse functions, diverse groups, and really growing your own career here at Henkel. So it's very positive, and I can actually assure potential applicants to this program that you will receive a number of support functions from the company. You'll get a mentor, you'll get hands-on management, you'll get support, development, growth. We really want people, as you mentioned, Denise, to join Henkel and stay with Henkel and grow with Henkel. Um, And that may be rotating around different sites around the country, um, trying new jobs, trying new opportunities. But we really do strive for a positive, collaborative culture where people want to stay. And, and if you join Henkel, you'll notice that people you meet on the first day, you'll say, oh, I've been here for 30 years or 20 years or 15 years. We have a lot of people that have joined us and stayed with us. Yeah, that says a lot. And I know we've got a lot of people who just love that Brandon community or that east side of Sioux Falls. They love the schools, you know, and this is a way to, to maybe find a career fit that just really works for you. Absolutely. Is there a, a good way to get connected with the company? Um, you know, whether you're maybe a new high school grad, and I thought it was interesting mm-hmm. that you said you can go right from high school to an opportunity at Hankel, um, or whether this, um, you know, really immersive and, and exploratory leadership opportunity appeals to you. How do they get connected? Yeah, thanks, Jody. So there are a couple main ways. We do have a website, Hankel North America, all one word, dot com. And you can click on careers there and filter by location. So if you went on there now, you could see the locate the careers that are open in Brandon and around the country. And that includes all levels of experience. So you'll see our leadership rotational program in there that I mentioned under the prison program. You'll also see our 10 or so open positions in Brandon from operators to technicians to quality engineers, um, as well as you can filter around the country if you're interested. So it's all there on the website. And I would encourage if you have any Um, graduates or entry level or fresh career uh, individuals who are interested in applying to the prison program, they're always welcome to reach out to me and ask any questions about the program. Um, Love talking to to folks in South Dakota about our opportunities. So please do send them my way. Denise, don't you feel like it's just another one of those under the radar companies that, you know, it it might not be top of mind, especially if you, you live in Sioux Falls, you're not driving by it in Brandon, but I mean, you've got to check this one out. 
You really do. And I think to all of our, you know, college students across our networks, we have a network nationally of over 300 colleges. Come in to this community, you will find a lot of global companies. And that's one thing that people don't talk about. Um, they don't talk about the leading, you know, uh, financial uh, uh, institutions that we have that are the largest community providers for financial services or the global manufacturing that's using really advanced manufacturing. The stuff you're gonna learn at our, at our employers and also the way you're gonna feel about being connected in a very close knit community, it's gonna feel like home, it's gonna feel like family. Um, you're gonna get plugged into the YPN network and you're really gonna find where there's just so much support all the way around you. And, and that's very, very attractive. And that's something that you can't always say. I, I said this many times, I'm from the Washington DC area. I don't know if there was that much investment in me as an individual, um, as, as what we see here from the employers and the community. And so that is the Sioux Falls advantage. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is the kind of program that's gonna take you a lot of different directions, I can tell. Um, and really absolutely. really push into some good things. So. Okay, you heard how to get connected to Hankel. So, you know, you can head online and do that. I will just tell you, if you just reach out to my friend Denise here, she can probably connect you with Ian if you need to have that conversation. Um, and I think we can make that happen. So she's Denise G at SiouxFalls.com. Um, anything else coming up in your world um, for, you know, our HR audience out there, maybe your employer audience that we wanna make sure to remind people of Denise? Oh, absolutely. So we just released, um, the registration, we open the registration, early bird registration for our Win and Workforce Summit. We draw a thousand people in, either virtually or in person. This year, I think we're going to have a lot of people coming back in person, only because we feel very confident, you know, with all of our procedures with COVID and how we keep each other safe and really kind of that top of mind. But really, we have a very wonderful, uh, again, keynote speaker. But that, right now, those tickets are limited for the early bird. So if you want to register and you want to save money and you know you're going to come to win, do it now. And so you can do that by going on to the talented workforce under the Siouxfalls.com and just looking for win summit and then clicking that registration link. And you so. there was something, so thank you. Yes, early bird for win. Um, I'll just put a plug in for it too. If you have anything to do with talent, hiring, managing, you need to go to this event. It's the content is excellent. Um, you're going to leave really glad that you went. So. Lock it in, save some money, get that early bird. Um, and then come back next week for another edition of Talent Thursday. Um, and you know, we just really enjoy these conversations. So Ian, any final thoughts before we let you get back to work? No, I really appreciate you both having me on. It's great to talk to you and looking forward to um, seeing some new names apply to our positions in Brandon. All right, get on it, get on it. We'd love to see that happen, everybody. Um, thanks so much, Denise. Thanks for uh, lining up another great conversation and we will see you next week. You bet, thanks. Okay. Bye. Thank you.